It's Time Warner Cable's Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz. Our guest, Anthony Portentino, he recently left the California State Assembly as a result of term limits. But I do want to talk to you about the Assembly, sir, because I think it's fair to say the Democrats, the party of which you are a member, had quite a day on November 6th, I believe was the date. I mean, they won seats that were competitive. They won seats that weren't competitive. Yeah. I, I think you saw statewide an overwhelming um, get out the vote effort from base Democratic voters. I, you, there were a number of initiatives on the ballot, uh, Prop 30, which right. was uh, very important to the budget situation. And I think the governor did a very effective job of lining up the potential cuts if Prop 30 didn't pass, and so that brought a lot of school families right. out. And then, of course, you college saw students, college college students. The governor did a very good job of going on campus to campus right. to campus. Uh, the online registration, um, you saw a tremendous amount of young people who registered and then statistically voted. Sixty percent of those that registered online with a new system were under 35. Right, and a big number of them actually voted. Right, which was also critical. And then you saw Prop 32 which was an assault on organized labor's voice in the political process. And you saw a very strong, again, base Democratic get out the vote effort statewide. But th and so I think the, the yeah. Democratic uh, candidates, some of whom didn't spend a lot of money, right. but here's benefited the, yeah. from that wave. But here's the thing. It's one thing for Democrats to win competitive races mm -hmm. like they did in Central California, in the San Gabriel Valley, mm -hmm. in the South Bay. They want an Orange County seat. Well, they want a seat in the high desert. I mean, these seats were not even on the radar for the Democratic Party. But I think you saw two things. You saw the Republicans take those seats for granted mm -hmm. and those members not actually go out and campaign. Um, you have to be respectful to the voter. When you're an incumbent, you can't take it for granted that you're going to get reelected. You have to go out and say, you know what, here's what I've done. Here's what I want to do. I would love and be honored to have your support. If you don't make that message, and then there's an overwhelming tide on the other side, it's a prescription for loss, and I think that's what you saw. So what does the Democratic Party do as they march forward to try to solidify their gains? Uh, because let's face it, 2010, although not a terrible year for the Democratic Party in California, was a terrible year for the Democratic Party nationally. Well, traditionally, the off year, you know, there will be losses. I mean, the, the party in charge typically does suffer in the off year. And as we know, a lot of Republicans vote in a higher percentage right. than Democrats in some areas. So And in, in off years. In off years. So I think there's a short window of confidence to govern. Um, and I think now there's no excuses to govern. And what's Because you've got the two thirds right. and you've got a Democratic governor. You know, what are you going to do? Are you going to do long lasting you know, significant reforms, or are you going to do short-term fixes? Well, let's talk about one reform that's being bantied about, and that deals with Prop 13. Yeah, I, see, I don't think they're going to touch Prop 13. Really? You know, personally. I think, uh, I think they're going to look at other, uh, other issues. What do I, you think? Oh, I think they're going to talk about some uh, voter thresholds and some other things. Well, that's Prop that's 13, Prop 13 a, bit. a little bit, but they're not going to touch the residential piece. Um, I Would think they look at split roles, residential I don't versus know. commercial? I think there will be some that want to do it, but mm -hmm. I think overall there's going to be too much pushback on that. I think they should look at um, uh, education and how we fund education. I think they should look at um, a fairer implementation of, of other issues related to, to how we fund government. But I think the more important thing they've got to do is they've got to show responsibility. Mm. Because if you don't it's have all the in trust, their court. it's all in their court. Mm -hmm. And I think they have to take a step and do sort of what Jerry Brown's father did, mm -hmm. which is define California for the future and then sell it to the public and then finance it. His, if, they don't sign, if they don't define it, watch out. His name is Anthony Portentino. He recently left the California State Legislature. I'm Brad Pomerantz. We thank you for watching Time Warner Cable's Local Edition.